couple of readings here we're going to do. We'll start with my wolf and howl. Uh, sweet peace in the eleventh hour. Peace so sweet as to shame honey, as ephemeral as an exquisite rose. Such as this is worth all adversities. Moonlit splendor embraces lonely hearts as the firefly princesses dance the night. Sigh of zephyrs in leaf-laden boughs sing enchanting melodies to call forth the elves. All this and more on the path less trod. Pristine glades with crystal waterfalls beckon a wandering bohemian soul. Faithful companion with true love shares such sweet peace as this. And the faithful companion is indeed Wolfen, my dog. <laughs> Namesake of my poetry thing. And so we have some images to convey. Images. I indulge in a number of media images to express the songs of my soul. I believe I shall continue to do so until such times my bell doth toll. Images in leather, on canvas, on paper, shall I render because I simply must. Images in words, in songs sung, in stories I labor over, or just ride pencil or pen I trust. Images I see with my true eyes, with eyes of my soul, with eyes in the back of my head. Images from works I have in museums seen, in galleries, in magazines, in books I've read. Images most intense in dreams I have had, or upon the boards of my creation's stage. Images burned deep into my psyche, from media artificial, choreographed by idiots. I rage. <sighs> yes, indeed. And on that note, we will go with... The other images, and this is called Images 2, T-O-O. -O. An artistic urge returns. A new work has been started. Sweet muse keeps singing. This is a joy to dance for. Edges of the tapestry fray. Summer heat deepens, is dire. Seems hurdles are higher, broader. Seems energy ebbs, pace slower. Images coalesce, clamor for light. Images composed to tell a story. Images to express ideas, thoughts. Images screaming to emerge, to be. Records of a perception, some to survive. How many are not known? Only the style shows maker's marks distinct to identify. What kind of future, if any, will they find? Images of beautiful young eyes and hands. Caress with curiosity, with respect. Images that have survived the span of years beyond the dancer's steps. Yeah. Velocity. It matters not the velocity attending turbulent descent. Contact occurs at the wall. Broken hollow bones akimbo are further scattered in attempts to rise once more. Pinions paired, repaired, soar in the rising avian aspiration towards pinnacles perceived. Pins and needles pierce pads of sleeping feet to inspire a deep desire to dance. What chances for a new Eden may be long gone before the flock awakens from the nightmare at hand? I fear that's something that may indeed be of the moment. And on that I will bid you in au revoir.